welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to do an update to Topology Zero, which is our two routers and two loopbacks. Reason for the update is GNS3 has changed since I first did the first Topology Zero, and the way they do the router numbering has changed, and we're going to update some IP addresses just to make things a little easier for us. So I've got GNS3 already open. I'm going to drag in two routers. In my case, they're going to be the 3725. In your case, just drag in the two routers that you have router images to. I'm going to zoom in a little bit with my mouse wheel. I'm going to connect them up. Fast00 zero zero to Fast00. Zero zero. Going to show interface names by clicking that icon just to the right of the sweeper symbol there. Then I'm going to add in some text and numbers. We're going to call loopback0 for router1, one, all ones, and a slash 32. Going to move that down there. Going to make another label for loopback0 for router2. That's going to be all twos slash 32. Then going to call the link in between router1 and router2, 101012x slash 24. And the X is going to be the number of the router. So this side is going to be 10, 10, 12, 1. And router 2 side will be 10, 10, 12, 2. I'm going to put that text right about there. I'm going to fire up my routers. And in a couple seconds, I'm going to click the console button right here to get up my two putty windows. And those routers should be up in a couple seconds. I'm going to move router 2 out of the way. And we'll start by configuring router 1. I'm going to change the text so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so we're going to start configuring on router 1. Should be pretty easy. Enable conft hostname r1. No IP domain lookup. Line console 0. Logging synchronous. No exec timeout. Going to configure our loopback first. Int loopback 0. IP address all 1s. And that's a slash 32. They're going to configure interface fast 00, IP address 10, 10, 12, 1. And that's a slash 24. And remember to no shut it. I'm going to exit out and then do a quick write mem or copy start. And we're done for router 1. Then we're going to go over to router 2. Enable conft hostname r2, no IP domain lookup, line console 0, logging synchronous, no exec timeout. Basically the standard things you should type in when you're starting any Cisco router in your home lab. So we're going to configure loopback 0, give it an IP address of all 2s, and that's a slash 32. Then we're going to go over to interface fast 00, IP address 10, 10, 12, 2. And that's a slash 24. And remember to no shut that as well. I'm going to exit out of there. Do a quick write mem. And we're just going to ping to the other side 10, 10, 12, 1. And we have a successful ping. Now at this point, what you want to do is you want to save your configuration, go up to File, Save As. This will actually save the GNS portion, the topology portion of your setup here. I'm going to save it to my topologies folder. And I'm going to call it 
topology zero updated. Double click there. And we'll call it topology zero updated right there, dot net. And it's saved there. Now you want to extract your config. So we're going to click on this blue arrow pointing to two o'clock. Click on that, extract to a directory, and you're going to find the same directory that you saved your .NET file. So topology zero updated, gonna click on there. And I'm actually gonna make a new folder under there and call it basic IP config. So config with host names and IP addresses. Click OK, and we are done right there. So that's it for setting up topology zero. Very simple, two routers, two loopbacks. This topology will help you out a lot when you're studying for RIP, OSPF, EIGP, that type of stuff. Very simple topology, but it's very powerful. You don't necessarily need five or six routers to play around with routing protocols and to understand what's going on. A lot of the times, 90% of the time, two routers will work just fine. Thank you very much for watching.